Hey, what's going on guys? Brown Superman's Comics. And in this video, I'm going to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting Final Order Cutoff this coming Monday night, February 15th. What is Final Order Cutoff? Final Order Cutoff is the last time that comic book stores can get those orders in. So by getting those pre-orders in yourself, you guarantee yourself a copy. So whether you contact your local comic book store, whether you do it online, make sure you get your orders in so that way you're not left out and not scrambling to find a copy on release day. And if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic pop culture related videos. So please consider subscribing. We're gonna get right into it, starting with one of those, what we call plug and play, pretty much any time a new issue comes out, it is on the final word cutoff list. And we're talking right now about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 115. This ongoing series has been phenomenal. It's been a lot of great key issues. There's been a lot of great new characters. This issue is going to have a great battle with Bebop and Rocksteady as they take on Taka and Razar. And Jenica needs to finish forming her band in order for the future to be saved. And they tell you, you're not going to be able to believe who she picks as the lead singer. Again, this has your standard cover A, your cover B Eastman, and then also your 1 in 10 incentive for this. But they're definitely ones to be on the lookout for because this series has been so good. And then coming from DC Comics, we get the Joker number one. That's right. Anytime DC puts out a standalone Joker's book, people take notice. And this is going to have, no doubt, a lot of different covers just from DC Comics alone. And then you have a bunch of stores doing exclusive variants as well. Either way, pick the cover you like. But definitely get yourself a copy of this and this issue we talk about. After an unthinkable attack on Gotham City, Joker's doing his best to stay several steps ahead of law enforcement overseas. But there's one person that takes notice, and that is Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon is about to retire, and he makes this his last vow to track down Gotham's worst nemesis before he does so. And with so many covers out there, if it's not for the story, this book would definitely be picked up just for some of those covers alone. Then from Dark Horse Comics, we get God of War Fallen God number one. This is another mini series. I love these God of War comics. I'm a huge fan of the God of War video game. We had the last mini series kind of take place in that same storyline as the newest God of War game. This doesn't look to be set in that same scene. It's after Kratos has defeated Zeus and Athena. He decides to take a vacation and leave for the desert to distance himself from home. But within that, he finds rage and guilt following close behind. He rages against the one foe that was unconquerable, and that is himself. I like these books not only for the reading material, like I said, I'm a huge God of War fan, but we're seeing those video game comic books rise, especially with that news of The Last of Us right now. We got Pascal cast in the lead, in the lead role of Joel. We got the actress from Game of Thrones also cast on The Last of Us show. So if that does well, I can see other hit video game franchises maybe following suit, and I think God of War is prime. For that, I've said it before on here. We also had the director from the Netflix Witcher show who expressed his opinion that God of War would be a great show as well. Leaving this to say, I'm definitely getting this for Final Order Cutoff. Next from Marvel, we get that Captain America anniversary tribute number one. This is mostly just the reader fan of me. I am a Captain America fan. But here we get Captain America celebrating 80 years, which is always a great milestone. And here we get some of Marvel's best stars redraw and modernize. Captain America's origin and the debut of Red Skull from Captain America's Comics number one, as well as that first Silver Age appearance of Captain America in Avengers number four. This has a great regular cover. There's also going to be a Mark Brooks variant for this. Also for Marvel, we get X-Men Children of the Atom number one. Marvel's calling this the debut of the greatest teenage superhero team of all time. That's right. They've learned from the best and they're ready to be put to the test. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm sure they spent lots of time in the marketing department, writing that solicit. But either way, X-Men, I've been on record before. I'm not the biggest X-Men fan, but I do like some of these teen teams. I'm a huge fan of Young Avengers. I'm a huge fan of Young Justice. I'm a huge fan of Teen Titans as well. So yes, i will definitely pre-order a copy of this book. And there's also a 1 in 100 hidden gem, Jim Lee variant for this as well. Also from Marvel, we get Amazing Spider-Man number 61. This has been talked about m months leading up to this, but in this issue, we get a new costume for Spider-Man. It's been all over the internet. A lot of people are aware of it. Whether it's here to stay, how long it's here for, that I do not know. But these do tend to be issues that people tend to collect. So if you're interested in that new Spider-Man costume, issue number 61 is definitely worth picking up. I actually like the front choke cover better for this, but the problem is it doesn't have the cup, that new costume on the cover, and that's what people want as collectors. The way I see it, if a Charlotte's Web looking Spider-Web cover can take off. Who knows what a new costume can do? More to come on that 
a little bit later on in this video. And then from Boob Studios, we also are getting Mighty Morphin number five hitting final cutoff. Mighty Morphin number four just came out this week and we got that reveal who that new Green Ranger is. And in this issue, now that that identity has been revealed for the first time ever, we discover their top secret origin. This is going to be another big issue. It's going to have multiple incentives for it. It's got a 1 in 10, 1 in 15, 1 in 25, and 1 in 50 as well. If you haven't been reading this or you aren't aware, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is kind of split right now. You get two series with Mighty Morphin and then Power Rangers being another series. Both have been great. Highly suggest you pick these up. And if you were like me and are hesitant to do so because you thought that the old TV show was kind of campy, all I ask is pick up a copy and see what you think. I felt the same way, but since I've been reading the comic book way better than that TV show, Kyle Higgins before, Ryan Parrott right now, so good at writing this series. I think you just might become a Power Rangers fan if you give it a chance. That's going to bring us to the Indie Showcase portion of this video. That's right, Indie Showcase brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. Every book we talk about in this video, you can pre-order from Black Cape Comics to secure your copy for Final Art Cutoff, but they are a huge fan of Indie Comics just like I am. So that's why this portion is brought to you by Black Cape Comics. And the first one we're going to talk about is a new book from Image. And we're talking about Carmen number one. This is going to be a five issue mini series. And what's great about it is it is written and drawn by Gillen March. Gillen March does some amazing covers. He's no stranger, does a lot of work for DC. I'm sure you're aware of some of those covers, especially when it comes to Batman, Catwoman, and Harley Quinn. But here he is, creator owned and teamed up with Gillen March to write and draw this fantastic five issue series and what's it about you might ask we get an unconventional named carmen who takes a young woman under her wings when heartbreak strikes hard like i said if you're a big fan of gail march this is definitely one that you might want to get your order in for and another thing to bring up is it's got a gorgeous cover b variant for this by none other than milo monero if you're a fan of grant morrison grant morrison is writing a new book with alex child for boom studios called proctor valley road they say if you're a fan of paper girls or if you're a fan of the series die this is definitely one book you might be interested in me and myself i'm a fan of grant morrison so i'm interested in picking this up and it's another horror series we get a lot of great comic horror series but not only that's another teen horror series proctor valley road is haunted by mysterious monsters and we get a team of four misfit teens that must stop them. I want to see Grant Morris's take on this. Not to mention, this also has some great covers. You have some Peach Momoko covers, as well as a fantastic Christian Ward variant. There are two other series from Boom that have new issues coming out for Final Cut Off 2. And we are talking about The Last Witch number three, as well as Spectre and Spectres number two. Both of those, I can't say enough great things about them. Me, it's just from a reader perspective. I've enjoyed those stories. Spectre and Spectres, like I said before, is kind of like Scooby-Doo meets Supernatural. I keep expecting Sam and Dean Winchester to make an appearance. And The Last Witch is kind of like if you took Frozen and then turned it into one of those Aesop fables that, you know, maybe wasn't quite as whimsical, so to say. It's a little bit darker edged and I've definitely been enjoying those. So if you're a fan of either of those series, Last Witch number three and Spectre and Spectres number two, hits final order cutoff this coming Monday as well. And that's going to wrap up the Indie Showcase portion, which will bring me now to those late printings. We don't have as many this week, but we do have some worth noting. From Image Comics, Deep Beyond number one is getting a second print cover from Andrea Bricardo. I have not had a chance to read this book yet, but it's got a lot of buzz from it. Black Cape Comics himself actually has a store exclusive variant for this book. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Also from Image Comics, just announced we're getting a gorgeous Radiant Black number one second print. This covers from Carlos de Tolly. I have had a chance to read Radiant Black and I can't say enough great things about it. If you're a fan of Kyle Higgins, you definitely want to pick this up. I describe it as kind of like Invincible with a little bit of Kyle Higgins Power Rangers signature writing put in there, but from a great creator own standpoint. So all restraints are off. He's telling the story he wants to tell in Radiant Black. This second print cover is absolutely gorgeous. And then from Marvel, we're getting that amazing Spider-Man number 55. Third print, same cover, different color touch. You've seen, probably seen a lot of online stores already pre-selling this. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier with Amazing Spider-Man number 61. That has the new costume. If we see what I call the Charlotte's Web cover gaining some attention like it has, as well as spinning off into store exclusives of Venom. My personal opinion, I don't think too much of that cover, but... There's people out there that do, and that's why it's also going to a third print. So if the third print's something you're interested in, definitely make sure you get your order in for that. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comic books that are in final order cutoff this coming Monday night, February 15th, 2021. This is Brown with Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video.